Hello and welcome to this review of Behringer Main and Vine Red Moscato. Well, the refrigerator cycled on right when I was getting ready to start shooting. I was trying to hurry up, couldn't make it. Behringer was established in 1876. The Main and Vine series was started in 2016. Chile Red Moscato. All right, so it's from Chile. 10.5% alcohol, a little higher ABV. Um, now, they're saying it's semi-sweet, and they're giving some notes here. Aromas of ripe, sun-kissed berries, followed by flavors of blackberry, cherry, and a hint of spice. I don't know about all that, but we'll see now. Here's that foil. Let's see if the wine looks like that color, because it has, and with the first four, reflected the... The wine in the glass has reflected the foil wrapper. It made quite a pop, let me tell you. Quite a pop when I uncorked it. Okay. So I'm sorry about the refrigerator noise, but um Ooh, that is, I would say, even deeper ruby red than the foil indicator. Now, I've seen six of the Main and Vine series around here. But on the website, there's like 12, even some carbonated, the bubbly champagne type wine. Now, the normal price for this around here is about $5.49 per bottle, but they had a big deal at Mathern's. If you bought six bottles, you could get it for $2.69 per bottle, and that's what I did. I believe that sale has ended. That, that promotion has ended. It still has a little bit of that foxiness that the, uh, the regular Moscato had, the orange, pinkish orange Moscato. This is the red Moscato. Um, not as foxy. Okay. I know Moscato is part of the the Vinifera family of grapes. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna get that. Vitus Vinifera. It's sweet, but like they say, semi-sweet. Cherry, yeah, and red grapes, <laughs> no shock. Now look, Moscato can be white all the way to dark purple grapes, okay? Um, yeah, it's like some dryness, some sweetness. It's semi, like the saying, right in the middle, kind of halfway. This might, uh, this might appeal to people who Don't want something too sweet, but on the other hand, they don't want something too dry. And if you were drinking beer, a good choice might be something like, uh, you know, if, if you drink, I'm just talking about common, since this, this is a common macro, you know, mass-produced wine. So like a common mass-produced beer, like Budweiser, you might find it's too dry. But one that would be a middle ground might be the Michelob Amberbach, which has some dryness, but then some sweetness, some breadiness. Some, it's sort of a balance that might appeal to you. And then it has similar ABV. All right, so 10.5% alcohol, it sounds nice. Um, very berry. <laughs> berry, you like berries? cherries and other berries and um, a lot of fruitiness makes sense made from fruit not too much of the tannin not too much of the skin that's more in the aroma well well you know what that's a deep subject uh, I'm glad I bought it I've been very pleased with this now the fifth one in the lineup I have one left the sweet red the sweetest of their sweet ones it's just straight up sweet, they're saying, so we're going to see. 
I have a feeling I would prefer this though because it's a nice, you know, it's not too dry, not too sweet, like I just said. It's more of a balance. So very happy with it. I would highly recommend it. Um, you're not going to pay a lot, but if you catch it on that on a sweet sale, not even a semi-sweet sale, a sweet sale like I got it, don't pass it up. All right, thank you for watching this video production.